no, so, fuck that. so you, so, so you would definitely recommend Rooster. He told me. I would recommend Rooster to any fucking body. Like, I would never give you a company's information and tell you to check them out if I didn't 100% back them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was with KMB for fucking seven months. Not one time did I mention their name to you. Right, right. So what? Because fuck them. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but but you know he uh, well Rooster he starts you off at forty seven cent a mile. Is is that about right? Uh, forty seven cent a mile. Uh, that sounds about right. But it really depends on your experience because like. Um, when I went into Wooster, I only had, mind you, I had only had a year experience under my belt. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I was only making 37 cents a mile with, with Snyder. Okay. So when I went into Wooster, it was actually 43 cents a mile okay. um, because I, they were guaranteeing my home time. You know what I'm saying? That's something that everybody did too. Um, and when I tell you, like, I went out Monday at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and I was home. Friday by six, seven o'clock in the evening, that's no bullshit. There was never no, oh, we need you to take this extra load here. We need you to do this there. It was never any of that bullshit. They got me the fuck home. This shit, listen to this shit lock out. One time, my dispatcher was late getting me home. Uh-huh. You know what he did to make up for, for, for me getting home late? He bought me. He bought me a ticket to a motherfucking Browns game, sitting in the dog pound, third motherfucking row. Uh, that's a that's a hell of a compliment. Just for the inconvenience. Just just for the inconvenience. There's no touch freight every motherfucking where, except if you choose to uh, take a load that unloads tires. And if you unload those tires. It's a hundred and fifty dollars extra just to literally go into the back of the trailer and toss tires into a pile. Dude, we we not tossing tires. I, I can tell you that right now. I, I'm just saying that's uh, that's and, and, and it's optional. When I say that I recommend Wolfsburg to anybody in Ohio that's looking for a job that can commute back and forth to Wolfsburg, Ohio, yeah, I would definitely. They they got a secure lot. They got a um. A fueling station right there at the lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, anytime you need anything like this, there for you. Like it is a family. When they when they tell you that it's a family oriented business and like they treat you like family, that's one company that I can a hundred percent guarantee treats you like a family. Okay. All right. So that's uh, so that's how it's uh, that's how your that's how it's paid out. Uh, so yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get paid out within within the first year of that too. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. So pre employment uh, drug testing uh, it, it, is it both urine and hair follicles, or you just do urine? You just do hair follicles, or what do you do? Uh, it's just urine. Is there an agility test requirement with you guys? No, but we do we do pay for it, but we do make you get a new uh, a medical card, so you gotta go through the, the physical again. It is, you says uh, you guys, will, you, you want us to get uh, new medical cards. Can I still get that through my own doctor? Or do I gotta uh, go through your doctor? You go through ours, it's MedPro. Uh, so, they don't go crazy, they check your, your back. And, you know, make sure you're able to to do the job, I guess. And, okay. But it's not too crazy of a physical. All right. So usually, I ask the question about fe uh, about guys with felonies, and I usually ask uh, what's your policies on it. But 
uh, lately I, I've been switching it up because, you know, I talked to, like I said, I'm in a Facebook group and I, I talk with a lot of guys that, uh, some of which that has felonies. So mm -hmm. my, my question is, uh, for a specific uh, driver that, that may have a felony, uh, he, this particular driver uh, was in prison for 16 years. <clears throat> What's your policy on that? Will you, will you give that guy a chance? or uh, it's, it's really a case-by-case -case basis. Ori so. Orientation. Where's where's the orientation held at, Booster? Right here in our office. All right. Uh, is, it, is it paid orientation, and how long is it? <laughs> Yes, sir. Paid, and uh, it can be up to two days, and we try to get you done in a day. Uh, but it might be two days. It just depends on you know the person and how well they uh, they have a lot of questions they want to answer. Right. They've been trucking a while, you know. They, they kind of understand the ELDs and right. things like that, so you can get out faster. But do you uh, do you do you pay for the two days? Yep. Oh. So. Sixty-five dollars a day. Okay. Now, when uh, when I when I come over, now I'm a local guy, so I guess how would you get me there, and how would you get a person that's out of town there? You mean for like orientation? Yes, sir. I mean, you you drive your own car. Uh, you know what I mean? All right. So we're all because we're only fifty minutes from Cleveland. All right. So that's so that's just for me. So if somebody lives out of town, say like uh, right. Illinois or something like that, uh, how would you get them there and how would they be put up uh, for the hotel stay? Uh, well, we, that's kind of out of our hiring radius. I mean, uh, we do hire some people out that, that way It was for like a dedicated stuff. Right. Uh, and if they were wanting to come on, I mean, they would just have to find their way up here. And, Oh, okay. And we, you know, somebody like that, we would make sure we get them out in a day. Oh, okay. That way they're not, you know, we, we would work with it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Is it, uh, is it force dispatch there? No. Okay. So if I don't want to go up into New York, I don't have to? Pretty much. But we don't, we don't go to New York City. So, uh, okay. we, we stay on the, was it the east side of New York or whatever? It's like Buffalo. Okay, okay. That's down. So, Buffalo's down 90. So yeah. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, we got to worry about going to New York City because we don't do it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I guess uh, I can get into the nitty gritty now. So what's the uh, what's the starting CPM there? Uh, you're looking at, we pay starting 47 cents a mile. Okay. And that's PC mileage. Uh, and then with a four cent safety bonus paid quarterly per mile. So every quarter they'll pay all those miles that you had four cents as long as you don't have any safety infractions. All right, now. 40, so if you're a good driver, you're looking at 51 cents a mile. Okay, so 40, 47, you say 47 cent? Yep. Is that even, is that even with my experience three years or more? Yeah. And then uh, we give a, a cent raise every year. Okay. And you say this is paid PC miler. Can you uh, explain that? So basically that means, uh, basically in the, the layman terms, the easy way to, you get paid unloaded, loaded. Uh, wherever you go, you get paid. So they put in, basically they put in your route mm -hmm. and you get paid for that route. Okay. There you about. say I get a cent raise every year. Is that a half a cent? Uh, every two months or a whole cent every year? One whole cent every year. A per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? No, we don't offer per diem. We pay uh, breakdown attention. We pay eight paid holidays a year. And then we give you uh, the week's paid vacation every six months. All right. You say eight. What are the, what are the eight holidays? So the, the six basic holidays uh, that everybody gets. And then the day before Christmas and the day before Thanksgiving. Do you guys require hazmat? And if and if somebody that doesn't has it uh, have a hazmat, do you help them get it? Yeah, I'd like to have everybody have hazmat because sometimes we do have some, uh, you know, pallets that are hazmat. Uh, but if somebody would like to get it, I uh, will pay for it. 
and we'll set them up with the class and everything. How many how many miles like an average a week? Uh, you're looking at uh, an average guy will get uh, about 2,200 miles. So you can get more. I mean, if you're a runner, you like to do the long runs. Right. We kind of tailor it towards what you want. You know, if you if you want to be out all five days a week. Right. Uh, take maybe more of the longer runs down to, you know, North Carolina, Virginia, and stuff like that, then we'll give it to you. Uh, but our average is about 21, 2200 miles okay. a week. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, you're not, you're not going to get the big, you know, there, there's some truck companies that put you out, everybody out, and run them to death. And you, we're not like that, so. Okay, awesome, awesome. Reimbursed for scales and tolls. Yeah, we have pre pass in our cars, too, in our trucks. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> um, dropping, uh, dropping hooks. What's the percentage there? That I don't know. I can find it out for you and let you know. Okay. But okay. That that some I just don't know. Now, I guess you're probably the first person ever asked. So. Okay. All time policy. Basically, you just went into all time policy, so we can get home as much as we want, pretty much. Yeah, we'd like to have guys at least, uh, we're looking for guys that at least want to stay out, you know, three to five days a week, but, okay. you know, I mean, the home time's good here, and, uh, you know, uh, there's something else I didn't uh, go over, but they do offer, and it's, it's kind of weird how I do it, but it's uh, two personal days off a year, in your first year, though, uh, they're unpaid, so, if, like, you're like, man, I just don't want to go to work today, okay. you know? It's not gonna count against you. Okay. Uh, and after your first year, uh, one of those becomes paid, and then after your second year, they both become paid. And then uh, we're on a point system here. Okay. That's kind of how we do it. So uh, you get seven points. Uh, it's kind of like a factory if you ever work factory work. Uh, so if you miss a day, you get a point, and then it resets. You know, uh, after the year. Okay. So if, you know, you did have mercy, you didn't have vacation days, didn't have personal days. And you just, you know, maybe got sick and something came up. And right. You don't have to worry about getting fired. You know what I mean? I just We're have, a little bit more structured here. I just have a few more questions that's popping up in my head as we go. Uh, what's the yeah. pet, what's the pet and rider policy? Uh, we don't allow pets. Okay. Uh, do you guys have team? Uh, do you guys do offer team drive team drives? No, we do not. Okay. Do you guys offer leasing? Yes. Can you explain that? So, how we do our lease program, buddy, we uh, we like to do after uh, 90 days, we'll approve you. Uh, we do that because we realized a long time ago a lot of companies, and not saying all of them, but there's a lot of them out there set you up to fail uh, because they make money off of it. Right. And we want you to be in the truck for 90 days to make sure that you're going to be a good fit for it. The truck's a good fit. Uh, the truck's not going to have any issues. You know, you can kind of get those mechanical issues worked out under our dime. Okay. Uh, you know, so hopefully that sets you up to succeed. And we have a lot of guys that have a lot of good luck with it and uh, have furthered their, their career, especially in the sand division, you know, by the trucks. And okay. We pay, uh, set it up so you paid off in a year. Okay. It's going to be a truck probably with three, four hundred thousand miles on, but it's, you know it's still a lot of life. How much? Uh, how much a week? That's uh, that I got to that I got to pay if I decide to go lease. Um, it really it depends on the year of the truck and how much we sell for, but you can generally estimate about eight to nine hundred bucks. Okay. Now, uh, now being that I got to pay for the truck every week, what's, what what would be the CPM then? For lease drivers. Um, so if you're an owner op, you have two choices here. Uh, you can either uh, go by mileage, or you can get be paid by percentage, and that's up to you. That's your choice. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think last time I checked, the mileage was so I think like one dollar and fifteen cents a mile. I don't, but don't quote me on that. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> And the percentage, 
Uh, somebody just sent me something the other day with a percentage. All interstate loads shall be compensated at 64% of build, line haul charges, and stop off and vehicles ordered not used. All interstate loads shall be compensated at the rate of 68% of the same thing. So does that make sense to you? That makes very good sense. That makes good good sense. All right. So okay. so what's the uh, what's the equipment that you guys offer? So our trucks are freight riders and internationals. Uh, do you have an automatic fleet or both? Uh, we have some autos in our fleet, but not a whole lot. And generally, we kind of buy those for guys, you know, uh, with disability that might need it. You know, maybe a bad knee and they just can't shift the clutch. So, truthfully, we don't really have any available autos. They're all uh, 10 speeds. Okay, okay. For uh, for the comfort, man, what's what's the amenities inside the truck? Um, well, I mean, the trucks. <laughs> they got sleepers. They, we don't we don't offer refrigerators in the trucks just okay. because we don't go out very far. You know, the home time's better here. Right. So it's not like you're gonna be out forever. Now, what you were saying? Now they you 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 stopped that. You was about to say they come with. And then it went dark. So no, I said uh, I said we don't. They don't come with refrigerators just right. because they. Uh, we don't go out far, and the home time's better here. So a lot of guys are just happy with the cooler. Okay. Plug it in, but they we, they do have APUs. Inverters. Yeah. Yep. Inverters. All right. Uh, you already said I can take the truck home. Um, what's the truck governing that? Um. I think they're different, but the last last guy I hired, his truck was a 72, I believe. 72? Yeah, it was pretty good, and that's pretty generous. All right. All right. What what'd you say your name was again? I, I forgot that. Jason. Jason, I'm going to ask you, what is, what, what is you guys' qualifications? And would you not only, you know, uh, not only talk to me, but if we was to go forward, you would go and find out uh, more about me by pulling my reports. Well, I, I already pulled your report. Alright. And uh, your report's good. Because you, when you fill out that case you signed, us, gave us permission right. when you signed that to, to pull that. So. That's not that's not a problem. But let's just say if I let's just say if I didn't, would you still give that driver uh, the benefit of the doubt and go yeah. find, find out a little bit more about him instead yeah. of just making instead of just making a rash decision right then and there? Oh yeah, I would. You know, everybody everybody has a story. And, you know, everybody's life's different. But Jason, man. Man, you 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 pretty good, man. Thank you. I mean, you answered a lot of my questions and and a lot of questions that a lot of other drivers that that I'm that I'm connected with. Um, definitely going to take this information back with me to the Facebook group and let them know. All right, I appreciate it. Is there anything else that I haven't touched on that you can uh oh benefits? Yeah, I didn't say benefits. So what's what, what's your benefits package? So we do. We do uh, medical, we have like four different medical packages you can choose from. Uh, some of them offer health and savings, where we, we put money into that for you. Okay. Health savings account. Uh, and then dental and vision, life, uh, that's after 60 days. And then a 401k with a company match after a year. All right, cool, cool. But the, the, the insurance is pretty good. It's not too bad for being a small company. All right. All right. Well, um, that's about it. You think uh, you could put you you can touch on anything else? I'm I'm out of question. Man, we got a got a great group of guys out here. A lot of our guys have been here for 20, 30, 40 years, and uh, yeah, we got a we got a gym out here for our drivers, showers, uh, nice driver room. So we try to take care of everybody. We try to be an honest company. All right. Well, Jason, man, thank you very much for your time, man. I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you. Rooster Motorways. That was Jason 
that reached out to me. What you guys think of that call? That call was awesome. I like that. Locally, they in Rooster, about 15 miles away from Cleveland. Man, I, I can actually drive back and forth to work. You know what I'm saying? I can get home a couple of days. That is, I, I think that will be the next, that will probably be the next phase. It won't be this, it, it won't be that yet. It won't be that yet, you know. I'm, I'm still rocking out with JNR Schroeder. Small trucking company up in Minnesota. Um, but if I decide to go local or rock with a local company, I think most Rooster Motor Race will probably be um, will probably be that company, man. That's it, man. You know, Jason reached out to me uh, via Driver Pulse, and um, actually, it was trying to get a hold of me yesterday, but I was uh, I was kind of busy. I was kind of busy, so. But uh, as I said before, what what you guys think of the call? Let me know in the comments below, man. Let me know in the comments below. So if you guys want to know anything about any of the companies, definitely leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions that you want me to ask, leave it in the comments below. Um, and definitely let me know who's next.